Good morning. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. If you hear any noise, well, that's the that's the carport going up. That's right. Guy showed up 7 a.m. on the dot. I was I overslept. I set the alarm, but I overslept because I stayed up too late, like always. Man, I don't have I don't have I don't set alarms, man. It came on. I wished it away. And it never came back on, so but that's what dogs are for. You know, when you have dogs, you don't need an alarm clock. They are your alarm clock if somebody shows up. Mm. Guys, I'm going to have to pause this and go heat up this coffee and get some vitamin C. But it'll only be a second for you guys. All right, I am back. Boy, that, that took a long time, didn't it? Ah. <sighs> That's good stuff, man. All right. They were supposed to come between 5 and 6 last night, put in the carport. Well, they got behind, and the guy did call me. I was getting a little fume there for a while. But the guy called me and said they would be here 7 a.m. in the morning. By gosh, there they are at 7 in the morning. It's about 7.30. They've already got the the bottom put down in place and most of the pieces put together so it should be going up pretty fast and i'm excited the dogs millie and tilly they came out to got get their milk bones ran back in their dog house they don't like all the the cutting noises and things that are going on out there yeah now they're just starting to realize i told them it's their dog house that i'm getting them a dog house put up so, you know they'll be under there in the summer. Heck, they might be under there by the end of the day. And there'll be a video later on the Dogman channel. I've got a time lapse going upstairs. I don't know how that's going to work because the sun's coming up right behind them. But we'll see. I want to get a time lapse of the whole thing going up. I'm probably going to send the drone up and get some footage that way. I'm going to do that right after this coffee. Uh, so... It has been years I've been wanting one of them, and we're here. Took a long time to get to the point I'm at with my homestead, um, and it's just going to get a little, little better here and there. Got projects planned. Uh, I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned in yesterday's coffee. I did. That's what yesterday's coffee was about, that this will become the pantry, and that area where the bar was will become the office and yes i did have my office there once before when it was the bar and i moved it because i had to move it out towards like where the little eating area is in the kitchen because i ordered a new desk and, and it or i bought a new table for a desk and the chair wouldn't it was so narrow i couldn't get the chair in there with it with the new desk it was a little wider so i have to keep the chair in mind when I'm putting this desk back in there the difference is I can uh, when I'm adding that wall I'm adding more room so uh, it's and I don't have the bar top in the way so there should be plenty of room so that's going to be nice to have that there and have my security cameras there and all that uh, it's just going to be a lot easier I know rooster will like it because I'm always in this room and roosters out there She's got a little bed down here, but she don't like coming in here too too much. It must be she's allergic to red. I don't know. But this room is plenty big to have plenty of food storage. I got my freezer, um, anything I need to put in here. My seeds, when I start my seeds, they can come in here. Uh, there's plenty of room that I can store plenty of things. And I do need to make a, a smaller area to hang my clothes up. And we'll, we'll get that done. I'll make it look cool. And all I got left to do in here is finish a doorway. If I could turn you all around. Just put trim around the doorway. And I don't think I'm putting a door on it, but I could. If I, if I need to put a door on it, I will. That actually used to be the closet. This used to be a bedroom. And that used to be the closet, and I turned it into a doorway, and the doorway is behind me where the hot water tank uh, is now. So I took that out, I blocked that off, put the hot water tank in there, 
So that is now uh, like a little closet area that I keep the hot water tank in. When that hot water tank goes out, I'm probably going to relocate that somewhere else or get a tankless water um, heater. So for now, it's in there. Guys, that hot water tank was made in 1992. That, I've <laughs> and it works perfect. I put in new heating elements and... That was probably five, six years ago I put that in. Put in a new relief valve. It's not rusted out. It still works great. So, hey, I guarantee you the next hot water tank I buy um, will not last that long. 92. Man, that's almost as old as my son. My son was born in 89. That's over 30 years old for, for a tank. Yep. 1992 that's the date on there where it was manufactured you know, i mean it could have sat in a warehouse for 10 years but i doubt it this house was built in 1980 that's probably the second hot water tank it's ever had um, water heater that's the proper term water heater it's not a hot water heater because it's you know the water's not hot when it goes in it's a water heater Hot water heater. The heater. I don't care. It's something. Ah, get some vitamin C in the brain. Mm, that's good. Let me look and see. Where's my glasses, guys? Maybe we can see what's going on. Oh, we got some progress going on. Let's. Here's. I'm not going to show too much. Oh, yep. We're going to probably have to move the cameras. There's the first piece being put into place. There we go. It is going up. Yep, I'm going to have to move the camera up higher or do something with it. It's cold out there. Them boys ain't smoking. <laughs> that's, that's their air. All right. So I am going to get out there. I'm going to add a few more clips to this, and then I'm going to get out there and uh, put the drone up. So, we'll be back in a second. Carport is going up, guys. all that noise Tilly are they building your dog house yeah. they are building your dog house Melly Melly getting your dog house put up yeah they're excited their dog house is being put up what are they doing guys huh All right, Rooster. Looks pretty level. Same color as the house. 
is newer. Uh, I'm so glad I put it there and set it out there. That's going to be a much better spot. All right, guys, there you go. A little bonus footage for you guys. Uh, I wasn't going to put anything about it on this channel, but I guess I am. So uh, I'm going to get out there, and, and as you can see, he said, level. So I, I checked that so many times to make sure. Went out there yesterday, triple checked it, and did okay. So... You know, it, it helps to have a heads up of when it's coming, so you got plenty of time to get something ready for that. You know, a good level foundation. Man, that's important. So, thanks for watching, guys. I, this probably isn't a very long one either. I try to keep these podcasts to 8 to 15 minutes. So, uh, be sure to tune in later on. I'm going to go put the drone up now, get some good footage of this thing going up. And it should be a good video. I'll probably use the same clips I just used in this in there. So if you see that in that one, hey, man's got to do what a man's got to do. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.